Welcome to Cat Chat. Today we're taking it into the kitchen where we'll show you how to whip up some awesome raw food for your kitty. <laughs> raw food? Now why would we want to feed our cat raw food? Simple. It's what they eat naturally. Cats in the wild don't sit over a stove and wait for their food to cook before sitting down to dinner. They kill their prey and eat the whole thing raw. And that diet provides them with everything they need without all the extra junk thrown into some commercial foods. That being said, I am not about to bring in live prey for my cat to kill and feast on. That's taking it a little too far for me. But I can easily make them nutritionally complete raw food meals for less money than it costs to buy high quality commercial food. And I can make big batches and freeze individual portions so it doesn't take too much of my time. It's really great if you want to stock up on the necessary supplements and you're used to cooking and measuring. Catinfo.org has details on specifics of what you need to do this completely from scratch. For me, I prefer to take baby steps. I'm not that great in the kitchen and I get overwhelmed easily. Fortunately, there are a couple of companies that make raw food kits where you pretty much just add meat. I'm using the Feline's Pride Do-It-Yourself Feeding Kit. Kit 1 contains bone meal so you don't have to grind bones, and Kit 2 is used when you want to grind up fresh bone with the meat. I'm using Kit 1. <laughs> like I said, baby steps. So here we go. Today I'm using 5 pounds of chicken thighs. Cats have a short acidic intestinal tract, so they're not nearly as affected by bacteria as humans are. The meat I'm using is probably fine as it is, but just to be extra, extra safe, I'm baking it for a short time to kill any surface bacteria. While it's in the oven, I'll mix up the ingredients from the kit. The kits contain all the necessary supplements, and this one has a powder mix and a couple of capsules. With that, I'll mix in some fresh water and one egg yolk, just the yolk, not the white, per pound of meat. If you use a kit, the exact instructions are included. Okay, the chicken should be ready now. And what I want to look for here is that the surface is cooked, but the middle's still raw. Now I'm going to put the chicken in some cold water to stop it from cooking any further. Then I'll cut it up into chunks. I'll put aside some nice small chunks to mix in later because chewing chunks helps to clean a cat's teeth. The rest of it, I'll put through a grinder. Using ground meat helps to evenly distribute the supplement mixture. If you don't have a meat grinder, but you have a high quality food processor, check your manual as you may be able to grind up your meat in that. Buying pre-ground meat is not recommended as there's more surface area and a higher risk of bacterial contamination. All right, once the meat is ground up, I thoroughly mix it with the supplement mixture from the do-it-yourself kit. Next, I'll throw in the chunks of meat that I put aside and that's it. All done, and way easier than making dinner for myself. Once you're done, portion it up and stick it in the fridge or freezer immediately, and don't forget to thoroughly clean up. The food keeps about three days in the fridge and a year in the freezer, and the average cat eats about six ounces a day. <laughs> it looks like it's a hit with the kitties, so we're giving it four paws up. By the way, if your cat has never eaten raw before, you may have to transition her and encourage her to eat it. Raw isn't as smelly as cooked, so sometimes kitty doesn't understand its food. Transitioning her is definitely worth it though, as feeding raw is great for her. If you want to learn about transitioning your cat, be sure and watch episode four, Transitioning the Dry Food Addict. Even though that explains transitioning from dry to wet food, the principles are the same. Well, I've spent enough time in the kitchen today, so I'm done for now. Make sure you check out the Kitty of the Week and help us find him a home. See you next time on Cat Chat.